G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 10 of my multiplayer series against Old Crow Balthazar of the Line of Africa campaign, part of Strategic Command World War 1 Empires in Turmoil DLC. I'm the Germans, he's the Allies. Let's see how much trouble we get into today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a little like six. That's bad. Okay, getting a entire unit wiped. Not exactly my favourite way to start the day. Um, right, two new ones. Okay, we haven't really solved the problem of these here. Now we've captured this back. So that means there's someone there. I reckon it's the, the levy that was there last time. We'd have to go through if we were going to do anything. Um, okay. Okay. Two, six, seven. The levy there is eight. One, two, three, four. It'd need to be there's no Zark. Two HQs do Zark. They do not. Alright, I'm gonna come back to that one. Two plus thirty is two point six. So I've got you as well. What's Belgium's points? What's Belgium's points? Ninety a turn. So if I whack it, even if I whack it hard, um, it's coming back pretty quick. Okay, le lesson from last turn. Any any unit that is not entrenched <laughs> and that faces more than one of these dies. Hello. That's quite a bit of stuff. Um, okay, your supply six. Seven. The HQ's got to be here. No. Because you'd be high, that... You're six, you're... Six or something as well. O okay. Um. Seven, that means an eight there, maybe. Maybe we got two here and here. That would make sense. Well, that, that'd that be an eight, that'd be a six, that'd be a five, which would convert to an eight. Okay, that's where his two HQs are. He's got Levy here. What other units does he have? He has that's seven, eight, he has ten. Actually by now there's a decent chance he's got another lit. No, I don't care about research. What units do you have and where are they? 
That's probably a three mana. If you built that in June, I don't remember how long they take to spawn. It's I'm in September. This might be there. I might be one of the other fronts as well. Oh, you donkey! You retreated, but there's no supply. That is not a smart thing to do. And now we could be in a bit of trouble. Alright. Alright. Well, that one's coming back. We're, we're getting that back as soon as we can. Don't go away, I'm not ready for you yet. So we've got the entrenchments there. Terrain here, he, he's not coming across this way. Okay, you, you've definitely got the two there. What I'm looking at. If I bring him here, there's room to go out this way, hit some of these. So if I move the HQ, he's going to see it. Which, I'm not happy about. Not going to be terribly useful next turn either, anyway. Um. Alright. Ah, you donkey. Not going to let me attack him. He's right next to it. Go. I can only put it on the road. I do need that fourth HQ. Um, well I suppose... Would you chase that? Three there. Would tell us if there's someone in here. If there is, I can pull it back here and rethink. If there's not, we take it. And then that throws all of this out. You're still there. Thought you would be. Okay, I want you there. I want you here. Now you need to dig in, you need to occupy those entrenchments. Do I rotate this up? Ah, uh, supply 2253. So that's not a very good spot to be waiting either. Um, Though it is better than this side, plus I know for a fact that you've got HQs on this side, whereas you don't over here. I'm gonna rotate that. Because I'm not actually that worried about this unit. It's, it's readiness is 30, it's not doing anything. You are doing nothing on this front. Like, absolutely nothing. So, this one, 
but makes it through next turn. I'm just going to pull it back and repair it somewhere. I'm going to put you here. I've got to hope he doesn't just burst through and take this next turn. Um, if he was going to, he, he didn't know what was there last turn or the five turns before, and there was nothing there in any of them. And he hasn't taken it. So we might be okay for a turn. Now, if this position gets much more severely outflanked than it is, I will have to fall back from the mountains at least a bit. Just out of, I need my army in the field and not surrounded and dead. Um, okay. Uh, that's three, five, seven. I suppose I can force march it from the Doma. And if something goes really bad up here, then I've, I've got the options of doing stuff. Okay, put that there. Upgrade that. Seems I haven't yet. Um, no supply four. So these towns are damaged, so for the next turn or two, these aren't doing much of anything, but you're only four, so... Hello, you've got something there. You have to. Because the, the hex flipped. That's not good. Okay, that, that needs repairs. Um, do I have anyone else that really needs repairs? Not... No, except for artillery, but I'm not wasting my points on that. Um, can't afford any, I can only build one more Scarry anyway. I don't like falling back, it's, it, even though this isn't a, a great position, it's probably not going to hold all that long. The fact that it's there and not here is still working in our favour. No, can package when we're done. Got any entrenchments either? Because if I hit it and I flip them and I hit it again, even though he's damaged, I've got a repair bill as well. And I don't want to be spending points on repairs if I don't absolutely have to. I don't have a lot of points. Most of what I do have, I'm going to desperately need. There's ten units over here causing trouble. You might think this is just one unit. I, I hope that's exactly what he thinks. Um, because if I can leapfrog into there and... By the looks of things I might be able to. Um, he, he had a plane but a few turns ago it was, it was over here. I'm not sure you'd move a plane over there as a garrison. If you're using the plane, you'd be using it to scout. And I don't have anything much over here. At least I haven't in the past. So there's no real reason for him to have a plane up there. Plus, they don't move very quickly. Um, I mean, I suppose you could... Um, I was going to say rail move. That doesn't make any sense. Um, operated into um, that, but... Be a waste of money, really. So what I'd like to do is get these two back. 
if you have these two, you can you can sort of raid up here. It, there's a lot of things you can do from that direction. The, these will be defended um, with something at some point. Maybe not the first one I hit, but certainly subsequent ones. What I'm really trying to do is just throw his timetable out, because the, the rains are going to come in January. We'll have a few turns after that. He, he'll be upgrading his units, and I won't be able to move. And so I still want to keep him away from anything too important until at least then. Then we've got the rains, and then we're a third of the way through the game. Which is not a bad way to start. Hello, yes, I am still here. Alright. Oh, I've moved that one back. What am I doing with this? What am I doing with this? If the HQ gets hit, we're in trouble. That's the other thing. I suppose that's upgraded on a hill. Supply 5. It's not being dislodged quickly. It'll be able to repair itself. Decent, decent shape. Your supply's not that good, so it will take you a while to get moving. Oh, there's, there's nothing there, alright. Well, I'll make him think I'm raiding. Who knows, maybe I will raid if there's nothing in Costmansville. Get 40 points for it, why not? You've done everything you can do. Every other front seems to be maxed out. Check that again, there's nothing. We got one next turn. I think that'd be one the following. Then two, the one after that. And then one. Not too bad. Right, that is turn 10 done. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.